We are going to dig into one of my favorite things to show people on the Sharp Charts workbench, multi time frame analysis. We're showcasing something that we talked about on the final bar recently this week. Dave Keller and I sat down to pick the top 10 stocks to watch for the month of April, and we showed off some of those in multiple time frames. You can see the same symbol in a daily view, a weekly view, even an intraday view. We'll show you how on the episode today. So lots to cover. It's all here. It's all new. It's Stock Charts in Focus. All right, everyone, welcome to the show. My name is Grayson Rose, your host for today. I'm the author of Trading for Dummies and the Director of Operations here at StockCharts.com. Let's jump over to the site. We'll show you that, and then we'll get into the meat of today's show. We're going to talk about multi time frame analysis. I want to jump over to the Sharp Charts Workbench and show you guys how to set up chart styles and chart style buttons that make it very, very easy to take one symbol and look at that in multiple time frames. A little window into my process, how I think about the markets and trade setups. Uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about that. It's a real way to improve your process. So lots to cover. Let's jump over to stock charts and get it going. Multi time frame analysis, something that is absolutely crucial if you're going to make uh, key investment decisions out there, regardless of what time frame you're trading. This is one of the crucial pieces of, uh, of multi time frame analysis. People throw this out there a lot, right? And they think, oh, okay, multi time frame analysis means I'm looking at long term monthly charts, and then I'm looking at weekly charts and dailies, and maybe I get to some intraday. No, the reality is you can employ a multi time frame analysis strategy across multiple time frames on any sort of larger time frame scale. If you're a long term investor, then multi time frame analysis to you might mean yearly charts and monthly charts and weekly charts. If you're a short term trader, maybe it means minute to minute charts and 15 minute charts and daily charts. Uh, regardless, the, the idea behind multi time frame analysis is that you're taking the same symbol and you're looking at that over different time frames, whatever that means to you. You can really tailor this uh, to fit your exact trading strategy. So today, what we're going to talk about is how I use this to uh, to move between weekly, daily, and even intraday timeframes uh, using the Sharp Charts Workbench. You can do the exact same thing in ACP as well. The show today, though, is actually going to focus on something that we highlighted earlier this week on a special with Dave Keller. Uh, we picked you know, each five individual names, uh, individual ETFs and stocks that are interesting to watch for the current market environment. We presented those and talked through exactly what we were seeing. As part of that special, I actually uh, pulled up a uh, specific name. It was Yeti in this case and looked at that across multiple time frames. And after the show, Dave and I were sitting down and we said, you know, that was a really good demonstration of a, a really, really crucial feature and a great way to get more out of Sharp Charts. So I wanted to make sure that you guys see that today. That is what we're going to talk about on the show today. Before we do that, though, I want to make sure that you know how to get to that special. So up here at the top of any web page, hit Stock Charts TV. Now, in this case, it's going to be the featured video right here. So this is actually what we're talking about. Go check that out. There's some great uh, ideas in there, some great insights, some great picks, and, uh, and great discussion about what's happening in the market today. Uh, but if you're watching this a little bit later and you come here and this is not the featured video, you can actually jump down to the final bar. You just hit that card, and this is actually going to be the latest final bar episode. Now, the other key is that you can actually open up the entire playlist and you can find that episode, even if it's later this week, even if you're watching this in the future, you can come back and find that top 10 stocks to watch for April of 2024. Uh, so wanted to make sure that you're aware of, uh, of how to get to that final bar show page here on the Stock Charts website. One other thing that I want to make sure you're aware of is a little feature here on the dashboard. So we've hit that dashboard, we're logged into our account, and up here at the top you can see default charting tool. This is a very, very crucial thing uh, that I want to make sure you see, I want to navigate to you to this on the, uh, on the dashboard. When you drop this down, you've got a couple of options here. And what we're talking about today, everything that we're going to do is on the new Sharp Charts Workbench. One of the biggest things that we've rolled out uh, in the last couple of years, a huge revamp for Sharp Charts. We've been gradually moving everyone over to that new workbench. If you haven't tried it out, if you're not on that new workbench, I highly encourage you to, uh, to jump over there. Tons of new features, much faster, much sharper, lots and lots of good stuff over there. 
but this is the way that you can actually set your default workbench. So you can jump here to new, make sure that that is selected in this menu. And then no matter where you are on the stock charts website, it's going to send you over to that new workbench instead of to the old page. So very, very helpful little trick. Once I've set that up, for instance, here, I've got new sharp charts. I can now come up to the top of this page, type in any symbol, and it's going to send me over to the new workbench. This is a great way to kind of get up and running with that new page. So as I mentioned today, the uh, the, the multi time frame analysis example that I wanted to show, something that we talked about on that episode with uh, with Dave Keller, was Yeti, a really really interesting name from this perspective right now. So what I want to show you, I'm actually going to close out our uh, our banners up here at the top. What I want to show you is how I use the style buttons, which are over here, and chart styles to quickly view any symbol in multiple time frames. Now for me, I'm kind of a, uh, an intermediate term swing trader if you want to think about me that way. So my primary view is on the daily chart, but I like to also view things on a weekly chart, get a longer term perspective. And I also like when I'm uh, when I'm actually going to place a trade, when I'm kind of getting down to uh, to the nitty gritty details of entering a new position, I also like to zoom into a very, very short term time frame, 75 days of one minute data in my case. So I can move through those different time frames very, very easily using these style buttons. To show you this really quickly, kind of at full speed, uh, and then we'll get into exactly how to set this up. Right now, as you can see on this chart, we're looking at a daily chart. I find Yeti very, very interesting right now because of this range that we're in. You can see that we're a very range bound here on the last one and a half years of uh, data. This is a one and a half year chart. Yeti has been very, very range bound, just trading sideways. But every time we get down to these levels, kind of around the mid 30s, you see that we really start to bounce. And actually that happened with the, uh, with the latest session Yeti kind of bouncing off of those lows once again. Now I can quickly zoom out to a longer term weekly chart just by clicking this button that I've set up over on the left side of the chart. Now we're looking at a seven and a half year weekly chart. And so I can quickly zoom out to that longer term view and see, wow, this is a very interesting level for Yeti here, uh, not just in the last year and a half, but really in its entire trading history. You can see that these uh, sort of mid 30s areas were resistance for the stock back in 2019 and even in 2020. Once we broke through there, that's actually kind of become uh, support now for Yeti. So you can get that multi time frame, longer term and shorter term analysis kind of view. I can even jump down to a very narrow time frame. I've got this style button set up here, which is a 75 day, one minute chart. So now we're looking at a much more compressed, shorter term view of Yeti. And here we can see I can quickly jump to that very, very short term view. And if I want to get even lower, I can jump to a five day intraday view. This is only five days worth of trading again, minute to minute gives me a very, very short term look at Yeti. So you can see just by setting up these style buttons, I can quickly and easily jump between those time frames. I don't have to worry about changing chart settings. I don't even have to worry about really going and finding other chart styles in a menu. So that is what I want to show you today. Again, the key is that multi time frame analysis is a great way to strengthen your view of anything you're looking at. And again, regardless of your uh, sort of time frame that you invest over or trade over, if you're a longer term investor, multi time frame analysis to you might mean yearly charts, monthly charts and weekly charts. If you're a very, very short term trader, maybe multi time frame analysis means, hey, a five day chart, a 60 day chart and a, a six month chart, something like that. Maybe it means one minute candles, uh, 15 minute candles and daily candles. Uh, the idea here is that you can move between those time frames, no matter what they mean to you, simply by setting up these style buttons. Really, really easy to do here on the Sharp Charts Workbench. So, want to take a look at exactly how that works. Down here at the bottom, make sure that you've selected chart settings here on our new Sharp Charts Workbench. And this is going to be where you set up all of those different settings about your chart. Of course, you're going to pick key things like our period of the chart. You're also going to pick the range of the chart. So how much data you're bringing in. In this case, you can see that I've selected 1.5 years from that menu right there. This is also going to allow you, of course, to set up all of your overlays, set up your color scheme, set up your indicators that you want, all of those settings that go into creating this chart that you have up above. Now, if you're a stock charts user, you probably know that you can take all of those settings and save those as what we call a chart style. 
The best way to think about a chart style, it's a template. It's a chart template that you can return to. So you can take all of those settings that are displayed here in this area of the workbench, and you can save those as a template to be reused in the future. You can easily come back to those without having to reset all of the menus with all of the criteria that you have. To do that, you've actually got a couple of different places. Down here at the bottom, right next to that update button, you've got a green button that says save chart style. So once you've set up all of those different settings, you can hit that green button and add a new chart style to your account. You can also overwrite any existing chart styles that you've already saved right here. The other place to do this is actually up at the top of the workbench, a little quicker, a little easier to access. You've got a blue chart menu right up here. And when you give that a click, you'll see all of your chart styles in this drop-down menu. Now, anything above the line, those are gonna be your style buttons. We'll get to those in just a minute. Anything below the line, those are gonna be all of the other chart styles that you have saved into your account. Now, in my account, I have got a ton of these, but you can see a lot of them are different security types and different timeframes, daily and weekly. Here's three month and six month. Here's three month, 45 day and six month. We've got a lot of those different time frames built into my chart styles because multi time frame analysis is a key part of what I like to do and the way that I like to follow the markets. So when you open up this menu, you can see all of those chart styles, but you can also save and edit your uh, your existing chart styles. There's a green button at the top of that menu. You give that a click, it's going to open up that same dialogue. You can save new chart styles right from here or you can update your existing chart styles. So first step, what you're gonna to wanna to do to create your multi time frame process, you're gonna to wanna to come down here and create a couple of chart styles. Again, that could mean longer term, yearly, monthly, weekly chart styles to you. It could mean weekly, daily, and one intraday like it does to me. Or maybe if you're a short term trader, it could mean a couple of intraday styles, maybe up to a daily. Create those down here, create those charts that you want to, uh, to bring into your process, and then make sure that those are saved as chart styles. That is gonna be our first step. Once you've created all of those chart styles in your account, you'll be able to see them right here. Now, an easy way to, uh, to make this happen, you could simply use this menu. If you wanted to view, for instance, a daily chart, I've got that saved right here. I could also then jump to a weekly chart using this menu. There we go, we're doing the exact same thing. We've, uh, we've opened up that menu and we've found that weekly style, we've jumped there. And then let's say we wanted to go down to our 75 day uh, minute to minute chart. Well, I've opened up that menu at the top of the screen. I gave that a click and now I've opened up that style. So you can see how easy it is to, uh, to use that menu up at the top to move between those chart styles. But if you're like me, you don't wanna hit things twice. You wanna hit things once. You want things to be streamlined really, really easy. These might be some of the most important chart styles from your account, some of the most important templates that you're gonna use, those, uh, those multi time frame styles that are gonna be sort of your go-tos. So you want quick access to them. You don't wanna have to go find them in a menu up at the top of the screen. You wanna just click one button and get right there. That is the beauty of these style buttons over on the left side of the screen. What these allow you to do is take any of the chart styles from your account and assign them to these quick action buttons over on the left. As you can see, I can jump between those styles very, very easily. Now I've got a whole bunch of them. Here's sort of a bigger uh, daily chart that brings in a couple more indicators, but we've showed this already. Here is a, a longer term weekly chart. Uh, I've even got an ETF style assigned in here and then my two intraday styles down at the bottom. So I can access these and I know exactly where they are and I don't have to worry about futzing with a menu or, uh, or going and, and finding anything in a, uh, in a dropdown, anything like that. Very, very easy to set these up. You're gonna look for that little plus icon at the bottom. That's gonna allow you to add a new style button. Give that a click and you'll be able to fill out this little menu with a couple of key points. So first off, you've created your chart styles. Let's say you've got a weekly, a daily, and an intraday style, just like I have. You're gonna then select each one from this menu. You're gonna open that up and this is gonna show you all of the chart styles that you've saved to your account. Now, in my case, I'm gonna go in there and select the daily, then I'm gonna choose a position where I want that to be in the, uh, in the list there on the left. And then the other options that you now have on the new workbench, you can give that a label and you can give that a color. You can see that I've actually colored mine. I've got the light green for my daily styles. I've got the darker green for my weekly styles. And then I've got the orange and the yellow for my intraday styles. So visually, I know exactly where I'm going. The 
these style button colors let me sort of customize this so it's really easy visually. I don't have to really think about it. I can just jump to the color uh, that I know I want to work with. The other option that you have in there as well is a label. So you can enter up to two or three uh, digits into that label. You get a couple of different options in there. And the beauty of this is that you can assign those little reminders of what each style means. So for me, I call these my level zero, one, two, three, and four daily charts. So I've got D for daily and then zero, one, two, three, and four. I've got W for weekly, and then this is kind of my uh, my level two chart. Uh, we've done episodes on the past uh, on that in the past. Don't worry about what that means too much. Uh, but the point is, you can assign those labels. So when I see the W, I know that's going to be a weekly style. When I see the E W, I know that's going to be for ETF weekly style. And then when I see the five and the 75, those are my intraday styles that I keep down at the bottom. So I know that the five obviously gonna be a five day chart and the 75 gonna be a 75 day chart. So those labels can be a very, very helpful reminder of what each style is. When you pair that with the style button color, makes it very easy to jump back and forth again between those chart styles that matter most to you. Now, on the show right now, of course, we're talking about multi time frame analysis. You save a daily chart, you can look at that in one time frame, then you can pull up that same symbol with a different chart style, maybe a longer term weekly, and then you got your short term shot styles there as well. The other thing you can do with this, though, is use different sets of indicators. So maybe you only want to look at the daily chart. Maybe you want to do it over different ranges, different amounts of daily data. Maybe you want to use your uh, your style buttons to show different combinations of indicators. That's kind of what I do with my uh, with my leveling system here. So you can see, actually, these are going to be very, very similar charts, but they sort of build up as the uh, as the level increases. Level zero is just going to be a couple of candlesticks and, uh, and some moving averages. When we jump to level one, that's going to bring in relative strength up at the top and then volume down at the bottom. And it's going to keep adding in additional indicators as we go. Here we add in the RSI, we add in some more with level three, and we work up all the way to level four, which brings in multi uh, views, uh, multiple different views of uh, relative strength. We keep our chart there in the middle. We've got our volume bars, RSI, and then a couple additional indicators down at the bottom. So lots of great uses of these style buttons. Again, you can use it for multi time frame analysis. That is a key, key way, a crucial way to get more out of those style buttons, but also for different sets of indicators, different chart styles that you want to have as your go to set those as your style buttons over on the left side of the screen, going to make it incredibly easy to access those uh, really, really a time saver, a process booster, uh, a great way to enhance your workflow here on the sharp charts workbench. So that is going to be our show for today. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. Hopefully you had some fun thinking about multi time frame analysis, maybe asking yourself, what does that mean to me? What's my time frame that I'm trading or investing over? Setting up those style buttons, though, saving those chart styles and setting them to, uh, to style buttons, a great, great way to enhance your workflow on the Sharp Charts Workbench. It is a great tool that I love to show people, and especially now on that new page with the ability to assign those different colors and those different labels makes it even more powerful. Uh, so we're going to have some other uh, cool things coming to style buttons later this year as well, being able to move those actually to the left or the right, uh, some other ways to customize them. So keep an eye out for some more good stuff there. Yet another reason to sign up for a Stock Charts account. You get access to these great features like chart styles, those templates that you can save. You get access to style buttons. You get access to chart lists and scans and alerts. So much there. So once again, don't miss this opportunity to celebrate our 25th anniversary with us. Sign up for a Stock Charts membership if you are not already a member. You are going to be able to get that free trial and that big discount. So remember that. Stockcharts.com slash special though is the place to go. If you are a member, make sure that you take advantage of this. You're going to be able to lock in that rate for another six or 12 months, depending on the option that you choose. And you'll get 25% off that total plus those two free months if you go for 12 or the extra free month if you go for six. Great way to uh, to get a discounted rate on your stock charts membership, those premium tools, advanced features, all that good stuff. So again, thank you so much for, uh, for being a part of our loyal charting community. We can't do all of this stuff. Have fun building great technical analysis tools, investing and trading resources without you guys. You guys are what allow us to uh, to do the fun stuff here, do the work to bring technical analysis to the masses. So thank you for being a part of our Stock Charts community. Thank you for, uh, for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing here on YouTube as well. All of that stuff 
We love you guys. We appreciate you being part of the Stock Charts family. So this is our little way of giving back, celebrating that big birthday with you guys. 25 years in business. We can't believe it. So, so exciting. We do this show every Friday too, so hopefully I will see you again in the future for another episode. Uh, we'll be back next week with another show. But until then, hopefully you guys have a great weekend, great week, and uh, and good luck out there in the markets. Crazy environment that we find ourselves in right now, but uh, hopefully those tools and resources on Stock Charts are helping you navigate it, as well as all of our great content here on the Stock Charts TV channel. Thanks again for joining me on the show today. My name is Grayson Rose, uh, Director of Operations here at StockCharts.com. It's been good to be with you. I'll see you again soon for another one. Until then, chart on, my friends.